Hello again, everybody. It is the Black Knight, and in this video, we're just going to cover one race. Pretty rare that I handle it that way. Usually, I have a whole bunch of them put together, but in this case, we're going to cover one race. One very special race, because this race is going to have my next Choke of the Week submission. Yes, you can see it coming right up here. I'm making a nice move here. We're just working this guy, not trying to bump him, not trying to bump him. Look, I can I could easily be one of those people who turns people. No, no. Make the clean pass. Everything's going really well. And you just, it slides a little bit off the ramp wrong, and there I am headed to Choke City. Now, that's not the funny part of the joke. The funny part of the joke is coming up, because right here, I'm all right. I can recover from this, right? Nope. Can't do... Uh, and now, look at this. Duh! dun 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 oh. Okay. So, there we have it. Now I'm back down to 11. Now, that's enough. That's enough for a video. So why cover the rest of the race? Well, the rest of the race shows exactly what a beast the Dominator GTX is on this track. It's like they designed the car to perform on this track. This is Duel. And Duel is a very twisty course. It's a very smooth course. It's it's uh, one that will benefit any car that really has a lot of handling. And there is no muscle car with better handling than the Dominator GTX. Watch as it just can cut inside all of these Duco deaths. I'm not sure why everyone wanted a Duco death. Everybody seemed to, you know, there was some, yes, there were, a, you know, a, a, there's at least one gauntlet and at least one ruiner, but everything else, I think, except, of course, the winner. The winner is of the race is in a, uh, a Custom Saber Turbo, which is my normal car of choice for uh, rocking uh, the muscle car thing. Okay, I bumped that guy a little bit, but not badly. But on this particular track, just watch this. Now, it doesn't have... The, the Dominator GTX does not have the top speed to really to run anybody down, but it can. It, look, the other car had to hit the brakes and sliding to the outside. That just cuts inside. It, it reminded me of driving my allergy. It just really has so much grip. Now, here comes that red guy again. This is the same guy, so I've caught up to the guy who bumped me out where I got caught in the little narrow notch there. Now, I'll get brake checked a little bit there, but I don't think it was even intentional. I think he's just trying to get through the, the curve so now I'm trying to oh, off on, on the on the left you can see somebody spinning out someone took somebody out there over the top overtake he went get down on it I went let's keep going took a little bit of a risk there but it, it, it seems to work out now he's coming back up on me and uh, I, I don't know how the heck I survived that I, he, whether he just decided to give me some clemency or, uh, and not just drive me right off the, uh, the road and his duco death. Uh, I have no idea what happened there. I, I appreciate it. You know, it's nice to, you know, see some fair driving there. That's great. You get nervous when you see everybody lined up in a duco death. You think it's going to be, you know, bumper cars. Now, he's still on my tail, and he's got the slipstream. And there's everything that's going to say something bad's going to happen to me here. And for whatever reason, he spins out. You can see him spin right out off the radar there. I, I I didn't know what happened to him. I just I figured he'd be still right behind me, and he was still just not. There was nobody behind me for the rest of this race. I've got pretty much a clear road, and you can see coming up around here for the the final turns, pulling pretty good time. Now the there you see the new personal best of the leader uh, is 139.370. Okay, let's let's keep an eye on that number. Now I'm coming around having had to fight a duke of death and i'm pulling down a 141. 141 is pretty close there when you consider i was in a battle the whole time now i've got an open track now i'm not battling anybody now i can just let this dominator shine and you know everybody seems to be on the other side of the track which i was always under the impression that the red side is the quick side it's always been the side that i get better times on but i mean you know I don't know. I have to do a little bit more research on this, I guess. For whatever reason, everybody decided to take blue. Maybe they just like the color blue. I, I, I don't know. Maybe they figured there wouldn't be as much traffic on the blue side. But um, or maybe it's actually shorter. I don't know. But I'm here rocking the red side. And if the red is the longer side, then that just shows even more how really perfectly designed the Dominator GTX is for this track. You know, it's really. 
just a, a track that it likes. It's it's hugging the turns. It feels like a sports car. And I realize I can't I can't overpower just about anything else on the field. Like I'm not gonna just you know pull away with sheer horsepower. But it's it's hitting the jumps perfectly right here. Once I'm not choking, and uh, you know really handling very nicely. Okay, so you can see how far ahead we are, people. There's someone behind us, but that far back. We're coming into the final set of turns here again. A little bit of a drift, which felt good. I've got to say, it, felt, it feels good to drift this car. Very much like when you drift an LG. It's that kind of controlled sort of feel to it. Now watch the clock. 136. I pulled down a 136, right, which is three seconds faster than the fastest lap uh, that anybody else had. It pulled down the best lap. Um, wasn't able to reel in the lead. Couple more laps, very possible. Might have been several more laps because I, I was pretty far behind, you'll see in the final tally. But I think this uh, definitely proves two things. First of all, the, uh, the Dominator GTX is not choke proof, but it will give you a very good comeback assuming you're on this particular track. I don't know I don't know if you give it a couple long straights if, if it's not if it's gonna be able to make it up in the turns because it does lack that top end. By the way that's a really attractive uh, gauntlet there. I love the way that what they've done with the tires and the wheels and all the whole night go not the tire but the wheels got those dukes going there I think could be wrong. I like it looks good. It's a good car to watch as you run the time out on the, the video. And, and here we are. I finished third. Went from 11th to third. Choked it badly. Had a pretty good comeback there. And uh, here we are. 13,003. Double money. Double RP. Didn't quite get 512. Winner in a custom Sabre Turbo, which would have been my usual car of choice. So, you know, it's still, you know, the jury's still out on what's better. But... That seems to... I think if you have a Dominator GTX, you can feel comfortable bringing it to the duel. This is your Black Knight. Have a great night.